most importantly during the hurricane, the most important thing is your family. Owner of Rack Electric in Boca Raton, Jesse Rack, says if you're left without power after a hurricane or tropical storm, before you start using your generator, remember, there are a few things you need to know. Most importantly, you want to make sure that the generator is free and clear so that it can run. There's nothing close to the exhaust that could catch on fire. And to avoid carbon monoxide poisoning, Jesse says you should never use it indoors or in partially enclosed areas like a garage or a crawl space. Also, refrain from operating your generator near open doors and windows. And experts say using fans will not prevent carbon monoxide buildup in your home. Most people always use it right outside their garage, and that's what we would recommend, either five feet or three feet from their door. Or, uh, making sure that the garage is all the way closed. To prevent electric shock, always connect your generator to appliances with heavy duty extension cords because connecting it directly into your home's power supply could increase the voltage or cause a surge to outside power lines. So the generator is designed to protect your home, but in a catastrophic storm that were to approach, we would always recommend leaving. We would recommend getting to somewhere that was safe and trusting that your generator is going to keep your house safe powered on, your air conditioning running, so you don't come home to a mess. Jamie Ostroff, WPTV News.